Welcome back to The Rare Hunters. The weekly segment where we open classic Yu-Gi-Oh packs in search of rare cards that we will then stake against each other in a duel. And this week, we're hunting through Pharaoh's Servants. The fourth set release in the TCG that introduced such powerful cards as Call of the Haunted, Premature Burial, Imperial Order, and Jinzo. The namesake of this channel, by the way. It'll be my Jinzo. And yes, guys, we heard you from our last video. From now on, we will only bet impactful cards. So I will not get away with what I did last week anymore. Drop a like on the video, leave a comment with who you think is going to win and what your rarest card would be. And we're going to hop right into the duels. Let the hunt begin. All right, guys, I'm about to pop open this Pharaoh Servant. You know, I've opened pretty well so far in the series. I always pull from the left side of the box. But I'm going to keep with that and keep pulling from the left. All right, first pack. All right, we have. Ooh, 1800 attack, Harpy's brother, twin-headed fire dragon, Hayabusa knight. All right, all right. I'm happy to see the Harpy's brother. Fairy meteor crush. Feels, oh wow, these cards really feel different from modern Yu-Gi-Oh cards. All right, pack number three, we have Skull Mariner, Cold Wave, huge card, and it's common. We have Twin-Headed Fire Dragon, The Shallow Grave. This could be good because each of each player takes one monster from their graveyard and special summons it. Come on, let's see an Ultra. Oh, I know what that is. Nobleman of Crossout. This is a huge super rare card. So, you know, I play Manator Bug, so uh, this would suck if Paul played it against me. I'm glad, I'm glad I got it. Four Star Ladybug of Doom, a big card. I do love my flip effects. Gravity Bind, a disgusting card. Burning Land. Ooh, what? Ultra Rare Call of the Haunted. Guys, we didn't pull Monster Reborn. This is the only monster recovery card we have. You know, the only good one. We have Ground Collapse. Select two monster zones and they, can, they can't be used. Very mean. Last pack, it, I'm actually pretty, I feel pretty good about my pulls, so uh, ground collapse dimension hole remove one monster from on your side of the field from play into your next standby phase this card still counts towards the five card monster zone limit what so i don't know anything about that dimension card but uh i like these i like these a lot which means i really need to win so i don't lose my call to on it okay so before i show my pack i dug out this beckett Yu-Gi-Oh collector magazine so you guys might not know but these were actually unofficial Yu-Gi-Oh magazines published in the early 2000s, each one corresponded with a new Yu-Gi-Oh set. And in this one, they're talking about the release of Pharaoh's Servant. And so, a couple of funny things I just wanted to show real quick. They had a hot list of all the cool cards at the time. There's also a game-selling toll-free number you can use to buy Yu-Gi-Oh singles. The Power of Pharaoh's Servant. So it shows you some cool combinations. And last but not least, this shows all the cards in the set like Jinzo that I'm hoping to pull, in addition to just sort of everything. So with that out of the way, it's time to open my 12 packs of Pharaoh's Servant. Pack number one, Mr. Volcano, the Science Soldier, Harpy's brother, Morphing Jar number two. Interesting, this is the evil brother of Cyber Jar, or this is part of the Jar series. So it returns all monsters in the field to their respective decks and shuffles them. Then we pick up cards until we both have the same number of monsters, level 4 or lower, that are returned to the deck and summon them all in face on defense position. Very crazy table turning card. Pack number two. This print control is all over the place. Light of intervention. Mr. Volcano. Maybe it was a sign because I got a super rare parasite? Parasite. We will use this against Joey in Battle City. A cool super rare card. One-headed Fire Dragon Magic Drain. This is really useful. It can actually stop an opponent's magic card unless they're willing to discard one from their hand to negate it. Presumably upwards. Time Seal. This card recently got unbanned. It makes your opponent skip their next draw phase. Prohibition. So I declare the name of a card, and as long as this remains on the field, the declared card cannot be played. Skull Mariner. Cold Wave. Very powerful. More. They're a servant. Invitation to a Dark Sleep, Mirror Wall. Very useful trap card. I remember that Mai uses this card against Yugi in the anime to very great effect. Hopefully I can do the same. 
Next pack. DNA Surgery, Michizuri. This is one of the very powerful early removal traps in Yu-Gi-Oh, so this should come in handy. All right, just a few more packs to go. Burning Land, Nobleman of Extermination. It's the spell trap version of Nobleman of Crossout. That could come in handy. Insect Imitation, Thousand Eyes Restrict. Ooh. Really powerful ultra rare card, although one that I don't think I'll be able to use because I don't have a copy of Relinquished. A very nice pull, though, um, not exactly one that I would prefer to have, at least not for my deck. And Pharaoh's Servant, the final pack. We'll slap it for good luck, as Larry would do. Hopefully this is a slightly better approach. You know, my secret rare Jinzo that's in here, I don't want to damage him. Attack and receive, a world suppression, burning land, dark fire, so... Editor, don't cut a thing. Don't cut a thing, they have to know. They have to know that I did not do anything. I called it. I it's a sign. Jinzo, the monster that this set is known for. Secret rare in the last pack. Longtime viewers of the channel will know that this is actually the namesake of this channel. Fun fact. Well, I know what I am betting on this duel and I cannot afford to lose. All right guys, so for today's episode, I decided to leverage the strengths of my deck. You guys already know one of my big, my biggest strengths is effect monsters, especially flip effect monsters, adding this card to the mix, even more destruction potential. I'm leaving Mask of Darkness in because I run some of the best traps that we have access to in the form of these trap holes and call up the haunted. I got my hands on Molten Destruction one week, so I'm gonna be using all these dark fire soldiers and fire krakens and boosting them up by 500 attack. And of course, I can't forget the great card cards that got us here. These are just powerful cards. As far as what I've pulled so far, I see no reason to stop using these. Let's see Paul beat that, and I'll be taking his Jinzo home. Okay, so here's what I've basically got going right now for my deck. I have not finished it yet, but I just wanted to show you guys a few of the cards that I'm considering. But I've gotten some really strong spells. I think that some of these could be useful. Uh, as you guys can see, the sh average level of normal monsters is a little bit higher here. Got 16, 17, and... 1800 with Harpy's brother. A few effect monsters that I'm just sort of eyeing. He's got piercing. This can destroy level fours. This is just a wild card. Everybody loves the jars. I wish I'd pulled a third copy of Bubonic Vermin so I could actually like, use its effect multiple times, but this could still be worth it. I flip it and I summon another one face down, so that could be tribute fodder for the beautiful boss ace monster. Mr. Android Psycho Shocker himself. The thing with this set is this, really like the spells and traps are kind of the highlight. This is a good negation tool. This can actually really eat away at his card advantage, which I'm hoping will be good. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, that's all I've really got for now, but we will see. Okay guys, real quick before we get into the action, this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallets. This is actually my personal one. It's Forged Ember. They're slim, they're sleek, I like the design. It's much smaller and better than a bulky normal wallet. And they come in a bunch of different colors and designs. You can hold up to 12 cards inside. They've also got a cash strap on the back. It's got RFID protection so people can't scan your cards from outside of your wallet. In addition to that, they also have these really cool new key holders and you can keep up to six keys inside. It keeps them completely quiet. And just like the wallets, it's really easy to access them right here and you can just get the key that you need. These even actually come in combo kits that you can get on their website right now. So if you're interested in picking up a Ridge wallet for yourself, check out ridge.com slash APS. The link is down in the description. You'll get a 10% discount. Again, that's ridge.com slash APS. Thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. And now back to the action. I wager Call of the Haunted. I'll wager this, my Jinzo. So, are you ready for this week's dual rare hunter? I'm ready to take my new card. We'll see. My rarest card can negate yours in case you hadn't noticed, so. Well, I think it's a little bit easier to use mine than it is to use yours. We'll see about that. All right, let's roll. I rolled an eight. Right above average, seven. You got a seven. Right on average. All right, I'll be taking the first move, hunter. Let's go. Draw. All right, I'm gonna start by summoning a monster I just pulled, my Harpy's brother. So you summon Sky Scout. Basically. <laughs> I'll set one card face down and pass my turn. Draw for turn. Hmm. Speaking of drawing, I'll activate the Pot of Greed. Oh, okay. What yeah. does that do? I'll draw two cards. Set a card face down, and set one more face down. Now I'll end my turn. 
All right, I draw. I'll do you one better. I'll activate my Pot of Greed. Do you know what this does? Yeah, yes, I just used it. This is a spell card that lets me draw two cards from my deck. Continue my assault by normal summoning Dark Zebra. Oh, Dark Zebra. Dark Zebra, attack his face down monster. You hit Spirit of the Harp. Oh, always there, always there. I take 200 points of damage. That's right. That's gonna end my turn. All right, draw for time. I'll activate Fisher. I'll destroy your Harpy's brother. Oh no. I mean Sky Scout. Yeah, that. Harpy's brother is destroyed. I'll end my turn. Defending, prolonging your defeat, I see. And what if I draw a card and it's the card I need? I will activate my Upstart Goblin. Even though I'll give you a thousand life points, it's a small price to pay to draw one more card from my deck. Draw. How about an old friend that might be familiar to you? My Mahavelo, my Malevolent Nuzzler. I'll equip it to Mahavelo. It gives it 500 more attack points. But thanks to Mahavelo's effect, it'll also gain another 500, so now it's at 2550. I don't like that. You shouldn't. Mahavelo, attack, Spirit of the Heart. All right. It does no damage to you, but my Dark Zebra can now attack you directly for I'll 1800. And that's gonna end my turn. Draw. Set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. A difficult decision duelist? What if I draw one card? What do you mean, what if? You have to. What if I don't? I'm gonna enter the battle phase, duelist. My Maha Vela is going to attack your set monster. I couldn't even stop to smile. Because! Uh, what did I attack, duelist? My four star ladybug. Oh, shnap. Destroy all level four monsters on your field. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Mahavelo and Dark Zebra are both destroyed. You lucked out, Duelist. You got to destroy my two cards for free, but it's okay. I, it costs a card. That's true. <laughs> in my main phase two, I'll set a card of my own face down. Oh. I'll end my turn. All right, let's draw for turn. I will activate my Nobleman of Crossout. Ah, oh, it's the one card I didn't want to see. What is it? You attacked my Bubonic Vermin. It's a flip monster that would have summoned another Bubonic Vermin when it left the field. Unfortunately, it's banished. And now we both must remove all copies of the vermin from our decks. I even had a second one. Hey, I thinned your deck. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Hey, I'm one step closer to drawing my Jinzo. Next, I will normal summon Darkfire Soldier number two. Deal 1700, my soldier. This could be fun. I don't know. I'll pay a thousand life points and activate the Delinquent Duo. Ooh, not kind. Which is it gonna be, Duelist? This one. This card is my Horn of the Unicorn. And now you discard one card from your hand. I'll discard my Curse of Fiend. All right, your turn. My turn indeed, I draw. Set one card face down and pass my turn. All right, draw for turn. Well, might as well keep up the aggression. My may raise no coward. No more summon Dark Zebra. Fine by me. Enter battle. Darkfire Soldier, attack for 1700. Hmm, let's see here. All right, and then my Dark Zebra attacks for 1,800. 18 it is. Now I'll end my turn. Draw. I activate the Swords of Revealing Light. <sighs> it's your move. All right, draw. See, that's the most consistent card in your This is the only card that shows up every duel. <laughs> it's every time. I think it's been in every episode. Golly, all right. I will set. A monster face down, and I'll end my turn. Now I draw one card. Pass my turn. All right. Draw. I'll set another monster face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. Normal summon. My dark fire soldier, number two. I'll set one card face down. I'll attack your set monster. You hit the man-eater bug. Ooh, a brawl. Bug, destroy it. There goes my dark fire soldier, number two. All right, your move. Draw. I set a card face down, I'll end my turn. That's all for Swords of Revealing Light. Let's see if the time I got was worth it. I'll normal summon Girojin Kuagata into the battle phase. All right. I attack this monster. You hit Man Eater Bug. Oh. Man Eater Bug, destroy it. Goodbye, Girojin Kuagata. All right then, it's your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. Yep. 2,600 life points? I have 2,600. Well, this is enough to get the kill then. Darkfire Soldier attack for 1,700. 
You've activated my trap card. Mirror Force! I thought so. I, I, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Normal summon my Dark Zebra. I'll activate from my hand the Shallow Grave. I'll special summon the Maneater Bug. Oh, very rude. I'll summon Harpy's brother in defense. And I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Flip my Harpy's brother. I'll attack your set monster. You hit Darkfire Soldier number two. Oh, good, he's destroyed. And next, I'll set a monster face down. I'll activate my trap card, Time Seal. How's that fair? It, it isn't. It's been bad for many years. So that's it. You just skip your next draw phase. Your move. No, you can't. Yeah, oh. No draw. You, Earlier this duel, you told me that if we didn't draw, the game ends. Well, what's it like not getting to draw? Fine. I'll flip summon the man-eater bug. Well, very rude of you. And I use its effect to destroy your face down card. You destroyed my Sangin duel. Oh! Sangin has an effect. When it was sent from the field of the grave, I get a monster with 15 or less attack. From my deck to my hand. Not bad. I'll be getting my Magician of Faith to my hand. Get a spell back. I will tribute both my monsters for the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh man, I thought I was preventing you from drawing something good. Enter battle, Blue Eyes, attack! You thought you caught me in your little trap, but I caught you in mine. I activate Mirror Wall. Huh? That's right. During damage calculation, it will have the attack of your monster. Oh. And that means your Blue Eyes White Dragon only has 1,500. Oh, no. So, say goodbye. Ah! My Blue Eyes. And you take 300 damage. I am my turn. I draw. I will let my Mirror Wall go to the graveyard. So you're going to your main phase? I'm going to my main phase. Activate my trap card. Call of the Haunted. Oh, oh, okay. I will special summon from my grave the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'll switch Harpy's brother to defense position. And set one monster face down. I end my turn. Can I draw now? Yes, you can draw. You finally get a draw phase to us. All right, draw for turn. Blue Eyes White Dragon attack Harpy's brother. Harpy's brother is destroyed. I'll end my turn. I draw. Activate my upstart goblin. I'll give you 1,000 life points. Don't you wish you could get some 1,000 life points? To draw one card. I will. Set one card face down and pass my turn. Draw. I will. Normal summon fire kraken. Okay. And I'll enter battle. Blue eyes, attack this face down. It's my Magician of Faith. She will return a card from my graveyard to my hand. I'll get Swords of Revealing Light. Ah! And I'll add it to my hand. We'll get that off the field. And now Fire Kraken, attack the other one. You attack my seven colored fish. Main phase two, I'll set one card face down and I'll end my turn. Draw. I'll activate Nobleman of Extermination. Your face down card will be removed from play and if it's a trap, we'll have to remove all copies in our decks. Not bad. But you hit my tailor of the fickle. Oh, okay. I'll use Swords of Revealing Light. <sighs> and set one card face down and pass turn to your duelist. Fine. Draw. Set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. Draw. Girojin Kuwagata. Put that on there. And I'll enter the battle phase and attack your fire kraken. I'll take 100 damage. Okay, your move. Draw for turn. I'll just set a card face down and end my turn. I activate my Pot of Greed. Oh, man. Draw two cards from my deck. Tribute. Girochin Kuwagata to summon Jinzo. Uh, no way. That's right, and Jinzo negates the effects of all trap cards. Now, thankfully for you, Call of the Haunted is still, all, it just the monster will just stay, and it just <coughs> kind of just hangs around, I believe. I'll activate this. Malevolent Nuzzler, and I'll equip it to my Jinzo to give it 700 more attack points, Ugh. putting it at 3,100. Jinzo, attack his Blue Eyes White Dragon. My Blue Eyes! You'll take 100 damage. 
I'll set a card face down, and it's your move. Draw! I'll set a card face down, I'll end my turn. All right, my swords are revealing light. Goes, and I draw. All right, Jinzo. Let's attack this monster. Mm. You know you just messed up, right? I probably did. You attacked my spear, Cretan. Ooh. That's right. We're both going to special summon a monster from our graveyards and face down attack or face up, or face down defense or face up attack position. That's fine by me. I'd love to just bring this back. I really would. But you probably have something much more dangerous in store, don't you? A bug! Oh, how very kind of you. I'll be getting my Magician of Faith. I will set another card face down and pass turn to you, Duelist. All right, let's draw. Flip summon Mater Bug and destroy his Jinzo. He's destroyed and my Malevolent Nuzzler as well. I'm gonna pay 500 life points and put Malevolent Nuzzler on top of my deck. Interesting. I will normal summon my Fire Kraken. Enter battle. Battle entered. I'll have my Fire Kraken attack this face down. You attacked my four star Ladybug of Doom. All oh. the four star monsters in your side of the field will be destroyed. Goodbye, Kraken. I got life points. Swing! She only has 400, which is just Ooh. underneath. The Magician of Faith, though, will get a card from my graveyard. Let's grab the Pot of Greed. Oh, not. Okay, you're not toxic. I'll end my turn. Draw. You already know what's next. I activate my Pot of Greed. You know what this does? Draw two cards from my deck. Set one monster face down. All that for a set? And I'll pass my turn. Draw for turn. There's no way my man bug can swing on that monster. That's there's possible. Just, there's just no way. I will switch my bug to defensive mode. And I'll end my turn. I draw. Alright, let's see. It's been a fun duel duelist. There's no it's way. It's not actually about to end. I'm about it's to just say. about to get a little bit crazier as I flip my morphing jar. Whoa. Number two. All right. So basically we're so excavating. You get one, I get two. Yes. And these get sent to the deck. And these get shuffled into the deck first. Okay. So this could even be the card that I get. Well, I can always get my man or bug back. I have no issue with that. Yeah, there's no telling. One. Painful choice. Harpy's brother. Okay, so I've gotten my one, so no more for me. Oh, I, I can keep going? Yeah, you're going to go until you get two. Oh, oh, he's going till you hit two. All right, there we go. Normal summon my Dark Fire Soldier, number one. I activate the Trap Hole. Ooh, not kind of you, Duelist. Ooh, just not destroy kind. your little soldier. Your move. Draw for turn. I'll activate my Giant True Nade. Oh, that returns all the spells and traps from the field of the hand. That's no? right. Well, I'll activate this, my Magic Drain. What? It'll negate your card unless you're willing to discard a Magic card. Uh, I don't even have one. If you don't, then your giant trunade is negated. Wants well, to bounce the call back to my I head. know. None of that, duelist. None of that. <laughs> All right, then. The other idea. Flip summon. Enter battle. Battle enter. Dark fire soldier number one. Attack. All right. I will. Hmm. Activate my trap card, Earthshaker. I select two attributes. You select one of the two attributes and destroy all face-up monsters in the field with that attribute. Fire and water are my choices. Oh, wow. This feels like Gozen. A little bit. A uh, much worse. <laughs> fire. Okay. So all fires are destroyed. Seven colored fish attack the face down. You destroyed my harpy's brother. I'll set one card face down. I'll end my turn. Draw. Normal summon my Jirai Gumo. Whoa. I can attack, but I have to call a coin, and if I call it wrong, then well, you know what happens next. Well, you're not paying that much. I'm not. We're just gonna attack your seven colored fish. All right, let's flip a let's coin. Flip the coin. Heads. Heads, All yes. Right. He is destroyed. I'll take 400 I'm damage. Take 400, I'm slowly whittling away. Set one card face down, you're me. Draw for turn. How many cards you got left in your deck? I have seven, six. I'm about to get really close then. Activate the Cyber Jar. Ooh, I had a feeling that might show up. Here's five cards. Destroyed. One, two, three, four, five. Well, this is nuts. 
This is going to be interesting. Oh, this puts you in a really bad spot. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to have to lose this way. <laughs> well, I will obviously be setting my man eater bug in Mask of Darkness. Make Dark Zebra, Darkfire Soldier, and Morphin Jar number two. And the rest of our cards go to our hands. Ooh. I activate Pot of Greed. Let's draw two cards, in case you didn't know. Normal summon Harpy's brother. Okay. Harpy's brother, attack it. <sighs> God. All right, it's Morphing Jar number two. So that means that we're gonna return all our cards to the deck and do the do. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh no. Okay, it came at the end. Oh, yours came first. That is an interesting card. It's something. <laughs> Set one trap or spell face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I should be able to shovel my grave into my deck. There's Jesus. a card for that. Not we don't have it, but. Well, since I can't actually do any damage, I guess I just lose. So. But yeah, because I'll yeah, draw I for my turn, to, and yeah. that's that. <sighs> I. Win. Looks like, unfortunately, you're the proud owner of a Pharaoh Servant Jinzo. <laughs> man, Paul, we're really, we're gonna have to come up with some rules to help you out, man. I might need you just it. can't beat me. I'm I that need. good. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the duel. It was a lot of fun. It really came down to the wire. I did not expect it to go. That was crazy. <laughs> quite as uh, close as it did, but. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let us know, of course, any feedback that you guys have in the comments, things that we can change. Mm -hmm. A couple of things that we're currently considering is adding in maybe a reprint set like Dark Beginnings or Dark Revelations. I still think we should use the starter decks. In order to uh, get some more cards into our card pool. And uh, one other thing, buying these boxes is kind of expensive. So if you do enjoy the content, you can use YouTube's new Super Thanks feature. It's down in the- uh, Yeah, it's like a video. thanks, but super. All right. It's gonna be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Pass turn.